again i forgot yeah so when we started the discussion we spoke about two types of taxes first one was the direct tax second one was the indirect tax now when it was the direct tax we said the tax which i directly paid to the government means the person is going to pay it himself that would be the income tax correct when i say indirect tax right now gst is the only tax which comes under indirect tax as far as our knowledge is considered at this point of time because gst includes all the other taxes yesterday we also saw a briefly a, a gst chain how the tax amount reaches the government and yes why this tax is important because government is offering us so many services in place of this tax or against the tax amount that they are collecting so it's very important so what we'll do very quickly we will read all these things what we have already discussed yesterday so yes this is our chapter financial planning just a minute ah huh? just a moment just a moment right so this is our chapter financial planning gst introduction gst tax invoice how does a tax invoice look like how do we compute the gst shares mutual funds and sip so let's discuss in a class the discussion was going in a class the teacher says dear students in our country which tax system is in practice for business gst system is in practice for business this is what ayush answers teacher has says very good what do you know about gst yes gst stands for goods and service tax yes the whole country follows the same tax levy system correct before gst what we discussed yesterday every state had variety of taxes levied levied means what charged at different stages of trading observe the picture given below and tell which taxes existed before gst and are now subsumed in the gst you see excise duty service tax custom duty central surcharge and cess octra entertainment tax luxury tax vat cst so many different taxes were there see what they are saying taxes that existed before were excise duty custom duty vat entertainment tax central sales tax service tax octra etc and all these taxes now come under one category that is the gst that is why gst is one nation one tax one market gst important date to be memorized you can remember this thing gst is in effect from 1st of july 2017 so now almost 4 years have uh, been passed that this law is in enforcement so let's learn look at this tax invoice now this is how typical tax invoice looks like all over the country every tax invoice will look like this only 
if i see just a minute ah huh? just a minute the tax invoice will first have a supplier's name now see so this is the tax invoice provided by a to z suite much as an example it will always have the tax supplier's name his address and this is what i was speaking yesterday g i g s t i n that is goods and sac sales tax identification number this is unique for each and every businessman for each and every business has got this unique tax identification number har ek ka alag alag hota hai right so this will identify my this is my number your number would be different so whatever goods now see ye this whatever bill is done by this tax number it will get reflected into the database into the computer of the income tax department so they understand that this number is of whom it is of a to z sweet mart a to z sweet mart has done a sale of rupees 723 total in which he has collected taxes of 41.70 and 41.70 so this invoice number kitne number ka bill hai 110 numbers bill invoice date and then see like this serial number 1 2 3 4 5 hsn code this is another important thing hsn code we are going to discuss what is the hsn code that is name of the product see payday payday now see all the products what the income tax department has done for each and every product they have given a code number okay now for example payday Payday have got a co code number two one zero six nine zero. Chocolates have got two one zero six nine one. So now every chocolate will fall under this same HSN code two one zero. So if I if if I sell a dairy milk or if I sell a Kit Kat or if I sell a Parle G or if I sell any other chocolate, whatever you eat, I don't know. All the chocolates will have the same HSN code two one zero six nine one. Ice cream has got the HSN code two one zero five. This is a unique code for the product. Then they have given the rate. Rupees four hundred per kg quantity. Half kg is brought. Obviously, two hundred rupees. And now the rate. Now this is important. One small point we didn't discuss yesterday. What we said: five percent, ten percent, twelve percent, eighteen percent is the GST slab. But when I say twelve percent, when I say five percent, this tax is actually divided into two equal parts. one part goes to the state government one part goes to the central government now you have already studied all these things in your history in your politics political sciences what is a state government what is a national government what is a central government right state government performs different duties they are providing us different services the national government the central government is performing us different services giving us different see for example the state highways the the road from you can say from karad to uh vita you can say karad vita road is a internal state highway road so the state got the maharashtra government will will give us this road but the road from pune to bangalore is a national highway which goes from karad only you know that the pb the pune bangalore highway nh4 goes via karad only so there are two road as just now i have told you karad vita is a state highway pune bangalore via karad is a national highway so the central government will do all the kharcha all the expenses of the national highway state government will deal with the state highway so state government has provided us one road to go from karad to vita you can say but the central government has provided us one road to go from pune to bangalore that is a national highway so this these are the two different services then again the security national security provided by the the soldiers the bsf the border security force the indian army <laughs> that is taken care by the central government but the police the maharashtra police the police which are you know today helping us in this pandemic situation they are trying to control the things they have putting the barricades they are they are making us understand the importance that is the state government police so the maharashtra state government will pay for this policeman the central government will pay for the army but both are very important to us state police is important central police is important likewise so whatever amount as tax is collected if i am paying 100 rupees of a tax 50 rupees will go to state government 50 rupees will go to central government equal division always compulsory remember this thing so 
GST is made up of two, CGST and SGST. That is Central Goods and Service Tax, State Goods and Service Tax. This is what we are going to study. Equal division. So if it, if if it, if a particular product is charged at eighteen percent, nine percent will go to state government. Nine percent will go to central government. So this is equal distribution of the tax. Let us see in the book. So here the charge for payday, the the rate, the tax rate for payday is total five percent. So two point five goes to CGST, that is central, and two point five percent goes to state. Equal division. See, you can see five rupees over here. Five rupees over here. Total tax was ten rupees because total tax rate is five percent. Five percent of two hundred is rupees ten. If if you you do the calculations and check, five percent of two hundred two hundred rupees ka payday he had purchased. Let me do it. Let me do it very quickly. Five percent of two hundred is equal to five percent means what? Five upon hundred. We know that. Off means what? Multiply by two hundred. Hundred one zero, hundred two zero. So that is five into two. That is total is ten rupees. Total tax rate was five. Tax rate was five percent. So five percent of two hundred or five percent. You can say over. Two hundred rupees. Ki upar five percent. Aapko pay karna hai. Five percent means how much? Rupees ten. Now this rupees ten means what? If I divide by two, five plus five. Five will go to CGST. That is the central GST. And five will go to SGST. State government, state goods and service tax. So five plus five. Are we understanding this part? Yes. Fine. Good. So this is five plus five. How the tax got divided? Total rate is five percent. So we can either calculate full tax divided by two, or calculate any one tax, and the same would be the other tax. So let me get back to the book. How they have shown? So two hundred five plus five two hundred and ten. Now again, payday sweets. It, it it is it is little bit of a healthy food. I can say it is good. So charge is less five percent. Total of five percent. But when I say chocolate, as as we discussed yesterday, chocolate is not an essential food. वो तो हम ऐसे टाइम पास के लिए खाते हैं चॉकलेट खाने से कुछ फर्क पड़ता है क्या जिंदगी में टेल मी और ना खाने से भी कुछ फर्क नहीं पड़ता सो इट विल फॉल इनटू द हाईएस्ट ब्रैकेट यू कैन सी 14 प्लस फोर्टीन ट्वेंटी एट परसेंट इज द टैक्स ऑन चॉकलेट रिमेंबर सो नाउ नाउ यू कैन आर्ग्यू सर वी वॉन्ट टू पे मोर टैक्स सो वी विल इट मोर चॉकलेट Yes or no? Yes, sir. Yes, right. I expected this answer that because we are very good citizens of our beloved country, so we will eat more chocolates because chocolate falls into. You can tell your parents also this thing. Chocolate falls into the highest tax lab rate, so that we can pay more tax to the government. Fine. Ice cream, you can see nine and nine, eighteen percent of tax on ice cream. Again, ice cream is not a luxurious item. But again, it is not essential also. So again, it falls into the higher bracket only of eighteen percent, not a lower bracket of five percent or zero percent or twelve percent. On the other hand, bread, bread is very important. So it falls under the category of zero percent, no tax on bread. And butter again, twelve percent. चलो ठीक है, butter is again acceptable. So total, this is how the tax invoice looks like. This is just an introduction. How Invoice means what? Bill. This is a bill. Okay. Now, when you go to D Mart, you will always get a bill. 
even the dmart bill will have all these things into it it will have the supplier's name as dmart am i audible yeah yes so the the dmart bill will also have the supplier's name as dmart it will have the tin identification number of dmart it will have the address of dmart invoice number you will always have a bill number and then same thing serial number the name of product the taxable amount finally they will show the tax also what you have paid you can check any other invoice of your own shop you can check so now the one student asks the teacher in this invoice we see some new words please explain them now see cgst and sgst are two components of gst gst is divided into two parts cgst is central goods and service tax which is to be paid to the central government whereas sgst is a state goods and service tax which is to be paid to the state government what is the right most corner with a long queue of numbers and alphabets that is the gs pin dealers identification number gst is goods and service tax identification number it is mandatory mandatory means what compulsory for the dealer whose annual turnover in the previous year exceeds rupees 20 lakhs annual turnover means what his annual business is more than rupees 20 lakhs he has to have a gstn number compulsorily most of you must be having you know that pan there is a there is also a pan number that is permanent account number which you had in grade 9 state board students cbse students i explain it to you later on what is a pan number but it is our permanent account number again it is there in the government records every individual has got a means individual above 18 years or every individual who is earning money has got a pan number and all his earnings are listed in that pan number means the government knows kis bande ne kitne paise kis kaun se saal mein kamaye hain wo sab record government ke paas hota hai so gstn number also has the 15 numericals now again how long is gstn number it is 15 alpha numericals means what it has got total 15 characters in which few are alphabets few are numbers now see how this number 27 a b c d e 1 2 3 4 h now this is your actually pan number these 10 digits five alphabets four numericals one more alphabet it is already there with you permanent account number this 27 is a two digit state code and 27 is the code of maharashtra so whenever any any bill the tin number the gstn number starts with 27 means i understand that this person is from maharashtra Madhya Pradesh might have say 2930 or say Gujarat might have uh, some other number. Jammu and Kashmir might have 01, I think. So if the uh, TIN number starts with 01, it should belong to Jammu and Kashmir. It's like each and every state has got its own two-digit number. Now see note here, 27 is the state of is the state code of Maharashtra. So from 27, one can understand that a person or a firm is registered in Maharashtra. Then one represents one registration and this one is compulsory there in every tin number after the pan number you will definitely find one z is uniform for all by default so every tin number will have this z and five is some digit confirms the validity of this gstn number when entered on the portal so again everybody has got a different number over here someone will have four six five seven two one three any number it can have total 15 10 digit pan number that is five alphabets four numericals one more alphabet so 10 digit ka pan number two digit state code 10 plus 2 12 and one z are by default for all of them 13 14 and last number will change for everybody till here it is clear the gstn part everybody has understood how is the GSTN yes. number form? Do we understand now? Yes, sir. Yes. 
सो टुमोरो वॉट यू विल डू फर्स्ट थिंग तुम तुम्हारे शॉप का खुद का जीएसटी नंबर चेक करोगे कंपलसरी एंड वॉट यू विल फाइंड You will find first two digits will definitely be twenty seven because we all are in Maharashtra, and every tax identification number of Maharashtra starts with twenty seven. Next ten alpha numericals are going to be the PAN number. So, what do we have to do? From our daddy, from our dadaji, from our uncle, we have to find the PAN number. And we have to tally it. PAN number and GST number same to same. Very good. You will find out same to same. So, you are going to check your own PAN number. Same to same. Okay. Very good. You will find out same to same. So, you are going to check your own pan card pan number you will check your gstin number as well ye karna hai tumko you are going to do it all of you let me move ahead what the student is asking ahead he says there is a word called as hsn code so what is that <clears throat> let me see what is the hsn code all goods are classified by giving numerical code as i told you Every good, every product has got a numerical code that is called as HSN code. It is quoted in the tax invoice. It has to be quoted. You must mention it in your bill. Tax invoice means what? Bill. Full form of HSN is harmonized system of nomenclature. Nomenclature means what? Children, naming. है ना? Chemistry में, physics में पढ़ते हैं ना हम लोग? Naming, nomenclature. Likewise, this nomenclature is there in our tax system also every good every product has been named so it is hsn you should know this harmonized system of nomenclature as usual there is the name of the shop address state date invoice number mobile number and email id also sometimes in the tax invoice now we will see how the gst is charged for each product observe the bill given c1 kg of pede is 400 so half kg would be 200 Two point five percent is rupees five. So this is what if you want you can you can check it over here. This is what we did the calculations also earlier. So total five percent it was of two hundred. So it became what five percent means what five upon hundred. Off means what multiply by two hundred. Hundred ones are hundred twos are five twos are ten. Tens means what five and five. Five percent gives me ten, so two point five percent. Half of that will give me five. So rupees five as the CGST and SGST will again at the rate of two point five percent will be rupees five. Yes or no? CGST at two point five percent, SGST at two point five percent. Correct? It means that the total GST is rupees ten. The total is rupees ten. clear yes sir yes sir now the rate of gst on chocolate how much is the rate of gst on chocolate 28 28% and hence now tell me chocolate is of how many rupees they have said over here let me check 80 rupees ka chocolate so So what do we have to do? Twenty-eight percent of eighty. Yes or no? Yes or no, children? Yes, sir. So how much is this total? If if I multiply, this zero and zero gets cancelled. Eight eight is a sixty-four. Eight two is a sixteen and six. Twenty-two to twenty-four upon ten. That gives me twenty-two point four. Again, dividing into two equal parts. Eleven point two and eleven point two. That is eleven point two and eleven point two. Correct. So now let, let 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 us just complete it in our textbook. What they are trying to say? Yes, correct. So eleven point two and eleven point two. So total it was twenty-two point four by twenty-eight percent. So the rate of GST on chocolate is one, and hence the total GST is rupees twenty two point four. Likewise, we will calculate the tax on each and every product. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Now the rate of GST on bread is zero percent. Yes, 
तो सी जी एस टी कितना रहेगा यस yes, बोलो Sir, in that table they have given that chocolate total GST is one zero two point four zero. No, no, this is the total amount. Eighty plus eleven point two plus eleven point two. Eighty rupees plus twenty two point four. Total amount becomes hundred and two point four. This is not total tax. This is a total grand total. Two hundred plus five plus five is two hundred and ten. 80 plus okay, 11.2 plus 11.2 102. Am I right? Yes. Correct. So yes. Now, if zero percent was on bread, GST or yeah, total GST. So how much will be C GST and how much will be S GST? Zero. No question of because there is no tax on bread. Similarly, on butter, the total tax is twelve percent. So six percent goes to CGST. Six percent goes to ex exactly half and half. Am I clear about this? Yes. Yes. Okay. So now see, the rates of GST are different for different products, such as zero percent, five percent, twelve percent, eighteen, and twenty-eight. These rates are fixed. And prescribed by the government. The government decides. Which se product pe kitna tax lena hai? Zero percent me kisko dalna hai? Five percent me kisko hai? Twelve percent me kisko hai? Eighteen percent and twenty-eight percent. Now let us observe the tax invoice of a service. This was what goods. Yesterday I explained the difference between goods and services. Good is what the thing which we purchase. The cheese ham leke aate. Anything in the form of a thing, in the form of a product, is a good. And anything offered as a service. Is a service. So now this is the food junction, Kheer Shivapur, Pune, Kailas Bhel. आप सबको पता होगी. You might be remembering. Yes or no? चलो कोई बात नहीं. See again the GST number starting with twenty-seven. Ten alpha numerals. First five alpha numerals. Four number again one alphabet. One and Z is compulsory for all. And last digit would be different. Now, here they are providing us some service of coffee, of tea, of masala dosa. These all come. The hoteling section comes under the service sector. Again, coffee is total two point five percent. Means total five percent. All the beverages or the food items are generally at five percent. So again, two point five here, two point five here, two point five here, and two point five here. So one coffee twenty rupees, five percent of twenty. Again, if you immediately you can calculate five upon hundred into twenty. Don't calculate two point five percent. It's very difficult. Calculate this. So twenty one zero twenty five. So five and five gets cancelled. One rupee. Correct. Means what? Point fifty paisa C G S T. Point fifty would be S G S T. Correct? Yes or no? Yes, sir. Again, five percent of rupees ten because taxable amount here is rupees ten. Zero and zero gets cancelled. Zero point fifty is the total amount. Means what? Twenty five paisa over here. Twenty-five pesa over here. Now, two masala dosas he has taken. Rate of one is sixty. So, two ka rate kitna hua? Total amount kitna ho jayega? Dono ka mila ke? How much? One twenty. Yes or no? Yes or no, children? Yes, sir. Five ones are five ones are five twos are two ones are two. Total six rupees means three rupees C G S T, three rupees S G S T. Total one twenty, one thirty, one fifty rupees ka food items. Three rupees seventy five paise C G S T. 
थ्री रुपीज सेवेंटी फाइव पैसा एस जी एस टी थ्री प्लस थ्री सिक्स सेवन पॉइंट फाइव सो वन फिफ्टी इज योर बिल अमाउंट सेवन पॉइंट फाइव इज योर टैक्स अमाउंट टोटल अमाउंट कम्स आउट टू बी वन फिफ्टी सेवन पॉइंट फिफ्टी दिस मच यू हैव टू पे आउट ऑफ विच वन फिफ्टी इज द अमाउंट ऑफ सर्विस सेवन पॉइंट फाइव वुड बी द टोटल टैक्स अमाउंट दैट यू आर पेइंग करेक्ट yes sir any difficulty about this part take a screenshot of this screen just a minute yeah take a screenshot later on you will try doing it on your own again now just as in our earlier invoice we had hsl code for the product now we have sac code for the service so for the goods we have hsn code but for service we have sac code so In the invoice of for goods, there is a HSN code. While in the service invoice, there is a SAC that is service accounting code. What was HSN? Anybody remembers what was HSN called as? Anybody remembers? Harmonized system of mm, nomenclature. nomenclature. Correct. Nomenclature means what? Naming. So harmonized system of nomenclature. and service accounting code and here yes zero rated dekho a very good essential commodities like food grains fruits vegetables milk salt earthen pots no tax services like what charitable trust activities all the charities no tax transport of water use of roads and bridges public library agriculture very important related services education and health all are tax free zero then low rated need not remember baad mein pata chalega but essential 0% commonly used to so 5% like what lpg cylinder tea coffee abhi dekha humne tea coffee ko 5% tha total oil honey frozen vegetables spices sweets pede was 5% commonly used services like railway transport bus transport taxi air transport hotels providing foods and beverages all come under 5% because they are commonly used now consumer goods 12% like what butter ghee dry fruits jam jelly sauces pickles mobile phones they are generally consumer goods everybody nowadays needs them so we have categorized them under the standard rated first slab standard rated there are two slabs and highly rated one slab total five slabs are there as i told you 0 5 12 18 18 28 18% is the highest category 90% of the products fall under 18% of tax now printing jobs guest house service related to construction business come under 12% 18% most of the goods and services marble granite perfume almost everything comes under 18% courier services outdoor catering cinema exhibition all these things and this is important 28 luxury items motorcycles spare parts luxury cars pan masala vacuum cleaner dish washer ac washing machine fridge such things are luxury items highly tax rated correct and here is the reference very important website write down this in your notebooks www dot c b e c central board of excise and customs meeting is going to get over last point for today you will check this website today correct okay yes sir right and then the rates are at the moment at the time of writing of this chapter so now we know